Hey guys, Mike Martin here. Just a quick introduction to the webinar. We had a bit of a hiccup on the web well, webinar last night, so I thought I would do a very, 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 very quick introduction to the video and add it to the start of the webinar if you're watching the replay. So, this is the schema builder. You're gonna learn all about it inside the webinar, but what I'm gonna show you is the coolest feature and the easiest feature and the best feature that's ever been added to a schema builder on this planet, full stop. There's nothing out there that does it, okay? So here's a website that we know has got cool schema. So what I do is to do that, I click import, paste it inside to my WordPress blog, click scrape, and what it does is it drags in the schema, okay? So we've imported that schema, boom, it's all there. We can edit it in form, format. We can then close it down and say, ah, we've got a bit of schema that's missing there that we actually need something different or something else. So I'll go over to this Miami Beach locksmiths here, and I decide, okay, so don't forget we've already got one stuck in there, but we want more schema on our page because we're very, very greedy, okay? So what we're going to do next is we're going to import this guy's stuff. And he's got two there, so boom, we import that. We've now got four lots of schema. Look, we can open it, close it, open it, close it, open it, close it. And then we think, you know what? We actually want to do a little bit of plumbing work as well. We'd never do that as a locksmith, but check this out, okay? So we just click import, paste it into there, click go, click scrape, Oh my God, now we've got website schema and plumber schema. All these schemas are on our website. Now all we need to do, you don't need to know nothing about schema. You don't need to know nothing about nothing, guys. This just works, okay? Go in here and say, ah, well, that's not my URL. Swap that out for your URL. That's not, we're not based in Manchester. Swap it out for your location. Alternatively, you use the location short codes and everything else, which we've shown you how to do inside this webinar. Any questions, get over on my Facebook group, ask me. This is the coolest upgrade, the coolest add-on, and probably the best feature that has ever been added to Magic Page plugin. This schema can also be used on your normal websites. That means you do not have to have a mass page website to use this schema builder. Nick it, change it. Let me just show you. Nick it, like that. Click preview, like that. Paste that code, top of your website, any page on your WordPress website with your head and foot code. You're done, guys. It is that simple, okay? You've now got the access to nick the best schema on the planet, change the best schema on the planet the way you want to change it, and get it set on your site in minutes. No more spending $1,000, $1,500 a page to get decent schema on your websites, okay? Find out, get him to show you a template of what he's done someone else's, and import the schema and use it yourself. <laughs> I'll flash you over to the webinar, guys. Thank you very much for listening. Cheers, bye-bye. Hello, everybody. Mike Martin here. Um, before we start, can I just say hello to everybody? I've just done that. I can see we've not got that many people in the room as yet, so uh, can you just let me have a one or a... Silvertown Limited. Hi, Silvertown. JW. Mm -hmm. Dean, can you all hear me okay? <laughs> They're all using initials tonight. Is that because you're all going to give me a load of grief? <laughs> No, can't hear you. Right, okay. So Maury says he can't hear me. That means he can. <laughs> You're right, guys. I've got one. I've got a perfect. I've got a few things. Keith, do you want to just try your mic, buddy? See if it, um, everyone can hear you. Can everybody hear Keith? If you just let us know. Evening, everybody. Hope you're all well. Can you hear Keith? He's got a new microphone and everything. You all right, Adrian? <coughs> We're starting to fill up a little bit. There's less than 100 people subscribed for this webinar uh, simply because I did it last minute. We've been waiting on this uh, this upgrade for, for a while. Right, hi, Keith. Yep, yep, yep. Sir. I can hear you both of you. Right, cool, guys. Thank you for letting us know. Right, so everybody can hear us both. Um, I've been waiting on this upgrade. It took a while to do it, um, but it was seriously essential. It was needed. Um, scheme is becoming more and more important, as you all probably know. So... It was something where it was like, rather than doing loads of these daft little upgrades that look fancy and make loads of sales and make people think, oh, that's cool, that's cool, we decided to take our time and get this right, get it perfect. And it is, it's absolutely brilliant. Me and Keith spent the last week of our lives doing almost nothing but testing um, and longer. But it, it's here, it's ready. Does everybody on here know Keith? And just let me know if you know Keith, you like Keith. Do you think he's a nice, mild-mannered man? <laughs> tell the story about you, Keith. <laughs> well, I thought he was. I'm only really gentle. <laughs> so we was in Barcelona, and we both got a, a similar past. <laughs> so I'm having a chat with Keith. We sat in Barcelona, surrounded by, by, by crackheads all over the place. Do you remember the crackheads, mate? 
Yeah, just if you want to walk past them, don't be very good. Um, so we're talking about um, we've done, both done martial arts for a long time and stuff like that, and and obviously most people think Keith's such a nice, my my mild mannered man. So he shares with us a video where we sat around a table, me, him, Declan, Mark, Tony, and a few others. Keith, at 51 year old, in the ring, knocking out <laughs> a 25 year old professional <laughs> kickboxer. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because I want him to share it on the group and i think if you put him on a spot like this he might do awesome video guys so get a few questions in there on the group <laughs> and ask him to share it it was absolutely awesome honestly so anyway he's not as mild mannered as we all think <laughs> but we had a great time there in barcelona did you keith did you enjoy it yep it was absolutely brilliant once you got to know where the places were and all the rest of it, it was a uh, you know met some really interesting people definitely definitely worth going to some of these events if you can get to them who was your favourite on the on the um, on the speeches? Who did you like? <coughs> I liked uh, Corey Sanchez and Paul Mahoney. Oh, Ma Paul Mahoney, he was good. Yeah, I liked um, Mike Fulsains, who I thought was absolutely brilliant. No script, no yeah. nothing. I liked Todd Spears. I think he did a really, really informative, good one. Um, and yeah, Paul's was really, really good. It was a great weekend. Anyway, guys, we'll push on with the webinar. I know it's a last minute webinar, so. I'll stop waffling. I can see the room starting to fill up right now. I don't want to um, waffle too long, but I also didn't want to start too soon because we normally get a few hundred people in the room and, and tonight there's there's not that many. Uh, it was a last minute webinar, as I've said, so it is what it is. But I'll push on with the presentation and then we'll take it through there. I'm going to make a special offer tonight to you guys, uh, but it's only for the people who's on live tonight and it will also apply for the guys who are existing customers and the anyone who's new that's popped on there's there's not a lot of people on but i am going to do it just for getting on the live webinar um right webinar is going to be 90 minutes max now the reason it's going to be 90 minutes max is i'm supposed to be going out for a meal with my family in what time are we on now in exactly an hour's time and i've had to push it back with the missus um it's because i wanted to push this product forward um so i'll stop waffling and start talking okay so what we're going to cover tonight is i'm briefly going to explain to you what schema is um if anybody's on here that doesn't understand schema then i'm going to i'm not going to go into schema in any sort of depth or start explaining all the intricacies and all the other crap because you don't need to know that anymore because this takes care of it for you <laughs> the new upgrade really does take care of it but i am just going to show you uh, tell you a little bit explain what schema is why you need it then me and Keith will both demo the upgrade. So I'll demo the upgrade and some of the new features and what it does and what it doesn't. And then Keith can show you some of the more intricate ways that he's using it because he's, um, he's he's a lot better at this than I am. He's a lot more technical with it than I am. See how nice I'm being to him now I've seen the video. Um, <laughs> uh, then I'll make a quick special offer and then we'll have a Q&A live up till about half past seven, my time. So it's now six o'clock and then I'm going to run out and grab a meal, guys. So it's not going to be a really, really long one tonight. 12.03 p.m. for you, Tim. Is that is that the afternoon p.m. or is that in the morning? Someone's <laughs> pointing, I love waffles. Someone's having a drink, Ellie. <laughs> right. I'll push on, guys. Um, Okie dokie. Well, basically... I can't see no in... questions or anything coming in. Pardon? I can't see no questions or anything coming in. If anybody's asking any while you're talking. Uh, don't worry about it, mate. I'll answer them at right. the end. We'll fly through them all at the end. Okay. Okay, guys. So first thing we're going to, um, I'm going to jump on it, is, is what is schema, right? So for anybody who doesn't understand it, now, oh, I knew it was only afternoon, Tim saying, um, is schema is, it's like a headline, okay? So so a lot of you will look at it and think, oh my God, it's super complicated. It's a complicated code, right? Basically what it does is it gives a message to Google, okay? It's a way of communicating direct with Google and it's kind of like a headline. Now I did a video yesterday where I kind of explained a little bit of what it is. But what, what 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 schema does and what schema is, is it is like a headline. It's like if you imagine a guy sat reading a newspaper, he skims all the headlines and then he reads the full story of the headlines he likes throughout the paper. So he probably reads 10 stories out of 150 in the newspaper and he chucks the rest in the bin. OK, schema works exactly the same. Right. So Google is kind of like the search engine. It runs around and it checks out all these flipping headlines throughout all of the websites on the Internet. And the ones it likes to look of and the ones it likes more and more, it will then jump on and read the full story and go through the page and everything. Now, if Google 
like your schema, basically what your schema does is it enables you, it, it tells Google who you are, what you do, and where you're based pretty much, okay? Really, really quick and really, really easily. So it's like it going into a filing cabinet that's got everything organized perfectly, and it says, okay, well, this guy's a surgeon, he lives in London, he does heart surgery, he's open between 4 and 7 p.m., and it knows who you are, what you do, and it doesn't have to put in any effort or any work. Without schema on your website, if you imagine you've got a page full of thousands of words of content, they have to then, Google has to then read the full page before it knows anything about who you are. It has to then dissect your content to figure out who you are. It then has to pull sections of the page out to figure out where it needs to put you. And if it can guess what you are and who you are and what you do correctly, then it might rank your website, okay? Now, schema is getting more and more needed and more and more essential, and without it going forward, um, your websites are just gonna stop ranking. People's websites are not gonna rank. Google, its biggest budget is its crawl budget, as, as everybody knows, and if you don't have decent schema right there inside the head code at the top of your website, sites are going to start dropping moving forward, and this is the reason we've took at least two months, the last two months out, without doing any upgrades to Magic Page Plugin, because we have worked like mad on getting the schema to the level that this thing is now, okay? So, because it's, it's essential. The way things are going moving forward, it was essential to make sure that we can carry on ranking these as well as we are now without them all starting to drop out of the SERPs, okay? Now, if you check some of your sites now while we're talking, it's probably already there. So, why you need schema? Basically, it's gonna help you rank faster, so your sites are gonna get picked up. It's gonna help you rank bit better, and it's gonna help you index faster. As, as Google starts reading less and less and, and it's looking for schema on people's pages to figure out what it is, if it spots a page with schema, it's going to know exactly who you are, what you do, and where you're based, pretty much. And it's going to rank you for that straight away. If it has to send you into its big algorithm and filter through all the paper, a lot of us have our content written by, let's say, Indians on, on Fiverr, who in, whose first language is not English. In that case, you, you, you if your content doesn't make sense to you, how the hell is it supposed to make sense to a um, to a search engine? It kind of won't, okay? So that's what it is. So if you remember, Google skims and reads, make the perfect schema, and your sites will do a lot better. I'm doing tests at the minute with sites with really good schema, with headlines, H1, H2, H3, um, some little bits of content on the page, very little content, and we're just doing tests, and I'll let you know what happens with that. But that's basically what schema is, why it's needed, and these are the results you get from it. So it's going to rank you faster, rank you better, and it's going to get you indexed, fast, indexed faster. Okay, guys. Right. Demo schema builder. That's it. That's the beginning of the presentation. I'm going to share my screen. If I can figure out how to close this presentation. And I don't know how. Wait there. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm rubbish at this. All right, let me see one second, guys. Don't wanna see go to webinar, boom, there we go. Right, if everybody can let me know that they can see my screen. And you're not looking at me go to webinar screen, you should be looking at me website screen. It's got my name in the top, oh, M Martin at the top. Cool, nice one, guys. I think we're getting a bit of a lag here. I thought I wasn't supposed to get this on GoToWebinar. I upgraded, I paid the extra money, and, <laughs> and it's crap. No, it's not. It's great. I love it. Right, okay, guys. I'm going to very, very quickly run through what this is. Now, I've, I've already set this up on a website because I'm going to show you the fundamentals. So when you go in and you click the update, it's going to update this automatically for you. In fact, I've got a site over here that I've just updated. So let me go into the back end of this one, first of all. Right, so this site's been updated and nothing has been done to it. So we go into the magic page and we click edit and it will remain as it was previously. So what will happen is when we scroll down to where the schema builder is, now simple schema builder is set up automatically for you. If you hit the drop down, then you can start using the advanced schema, okay? Right, so and that, that's it. So it's gonna take your old schema off and it's gonna start using your advanced, your new advanced schema. Right, so this is this one over is a demo site that I've put together, and as you can see, it's got no um, that's the home page sample page, and this is just a page of content I pulled in. I think I created this yesterday for one of my videos. Anyway, so it's just a very very basic setup with the city short code on the site, and I'm going to run through the key features. Oh, in fact, before we jump onto schema, 
let me show you something. Really, really cool. Who on here knows what verbatim is? Who hates verbatim? Who's used it with Magic Page and they just want to smash the screen up when they're trying to figure out where to put it all? <laughs> Matt Tarrant hates it. Someone else has put, yep, question mark. Right, Silverstone Limited doesn't know what it is. You don't know how lucky you are because if you're starting with MPP at 5.0, <laughs> you've never had to live through it. It's like it's like getting a laptop when we've always only had typewriters. <laughs> uh, this is this is gonna change. You know how to use the schema on a weave left side. Um, we'll do questions at the end, Dan. Um, right, so yeah, verbatim. Yes, Tim, exactly as you've just put it, verbatim. Right, basically, let me show you something. So I also only simplify, as most of you will know. Okay, so let's just view this page. Yep. Now, previously, what, what, what we've done so that you can create a lead simplify form is you come down here and you click copy. Now, what this bottom one does is it creates a verbatim, which is a protected form so that it doesn't look at the bits inside a schema and treat them like they are spin text. OK, and then it, this also pulls in the location data from the page so you can have a form on one website that spreads across the whole country and, and, it, and it takes the location information from the page that it's on. So it knows if somebody searches auto locksmith in Liverpool, it knows to pass the leads from the form straight to people in Liverpool, which is cool. It's absolutely awesome. Right. But we've always had to include verbatim, which has been an absolute nightmare. So now we go in here and we click a text version. So let's say we're adding the form here. It's just a demo form. And we paste it. And as you can see, it's got verbatim on it. So it's not going to break your existing sites, this, right? And then we view the page. And as you can see, the form is in there perfectly. Okay. Go back to the page. And what would not, what would previously have happened with this is it would have broke. Okay. Because if you see, you've got your little squiggly brackets and squiggly brackets, and it would try to treat these as spin text. So we've kind of made it a little bit cleverer. So now, and then this is not just for Lead Simplify. A lot of other people use different forms and different form builders and different JavaScript and them silly little things that go across the top what they call banners and all that crap. Well, this will work with all that. Now you won't have to protect it anymore. So as you can see, we deleted the verbatim and it still works perfectly. Okay, so it's just one little upgrade I thought I better let you know about, which I think is absolutely awesome and it's in version 5.0 only. So anyone previously who's had to use the verbatim and wrap all the little squiggly brackets and all that throughout when you put in schema in the head code and stuff like that, I nearly swore. This now breaks that down. It's no longer needed. So that's one of the first things I wanted to just share with you guys. I've got a list of things that this schema builder does. And I'm going to, first of all, move down to it and start sharing some stuff with you. So we go to the advanced schema. Let's open the schema builder. Here's what it looks like. Let's, let's delete this one and click confirm. Okay, and then click save. Right, so I've deleted this game that we've that we've already got in here. So I'm going to go through the essentials. So that the most most bestest, I'll call it, because I don't know what the word is. Uh oh, locksmiths, Manchester. The most bestest thing that it does is um, when you go into a website like this that we know I already know has got great schema on it. It enables you to. I've lost where this. It enables you to now click import. Put in somebody else's URL, click scrape. Now, if I had multiple schemas on here and you didn't want them all, and it's not going to work for me now, is it? <laughs> Typical for a webinar. And it's all gone quiet. Let me close it and reopen it because I think that might be something to do with my website. But no, have you had that problem at all, Keith? <laughs> I've scraped this website loads of times. Right, we're going to click import again. Oh, it's still running. Never ran it on a website on a webinar yet. So <laughs> no, well, no, I've never. I've, I've done this website a few times because I know there are certain sites that you, you you'll struggle to state. Let me just close that.
it's normally works straight away. Yeah, I've never had that issue before. Let's just see if it was just a glitch there. We'll see. It might just be bloody slow. Yeah, it might be. See what I want to do just in case it is. Sorry about this, guys. If there's something going to go wrong, it will always go wrong on the first webinar. Right, no, the thing's working though, so we shouldn't be. It shouldn't be uh, giving us an issue at all. Now I can copy this in if I want, but I don't. I really don't want to do that. Right, rather than holding up the webinar, I'm gonna let you test that in a minute, Keith, on yours. Because I'm just on doing it now on a different site. I wonder if it's because I'm pulling in from HTTPS to a non-HTTPS website. Possibly. Let's go over it and do the same thing. This is a demo site as well. Right. Um, <coughs> right, I don't know why, guys, it's not letting me pull it in. So I could shut the webinar completely and just say, ah, it's not working. It does work. <laughs> I've tested it. Right, I'm going to move on with the webinar and I'm going to come back to that later on. Uh, basically, what you can do is you can come up to any website that's got schema and you can import the schema straight on using the URL. Okay, so you can copy it in there and you paste it and it will scrape the URL in. If we've got a little bug that's not working for the next few hours, I will make sure that that's sorted tonight by speaking to my development team. That bug wasn't there a few hours ago, so I don't know where it's come from or why it's happened, but it's happened. Um, shit happens, I guess. Right, in addition to that, what else you can do is once you've imported the schema, you can edit the schema. OK, so you can go in and you can edit the schema. Now, what I'm going to show you is here is templates. OK, what we have is what's called a schema catalog or your schemas. So you get your own schemas here. Right. And then you can import, edit and save. And luckily, I've saved the schema earlier today. OK, so what I can do now is I can click import on that schema. And what it will do is it'll automatically import the schema that I've previously saved. OK, so what you can then do is you can click templates, your schemas. Click on that and click export schema. And what you'll see, it drop down to the bottom left hand side there. You then have that schema for all your other websites. Well, the great thing about the schema is if you look through here, there is no specific data about the URL itself. OK, so we've got this crazy little code here. Cities count equals 15 type equals array. That pulls in the 15 locations closest to the location page you're on and passes them out to the schema as an area served code, which I'll show you in a minute. And then if you look on it, there's nothing website specific on here. So what this enables you to do is create one schema, export it and upload it for every single website that you use. So it's very, very simple, very, very easy and very, very quick to do. OK, you create one decent schema for the industry going after and every time you can use it again and again and again. Right. So I'm going to close that now and I'm going to scroll down again to this and click open the schema builder. Right. Not only that. So we've got the import and the export. But the best thing about this. Is what we've also now included in here, and this is one of the main features I wanted to show people is that the schema builder now when we click on templates, you've got a schema catalog. OK, so basically what you can do, well, let me go over to my schema. Let me import my schema, import that to there. OK, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to go to templates. And we're going to go to schema catalog and you see this little button here. If you can't read it, what it says is share schema. OK, now there's loads of fancy codes as well that we can add in here, which we're going to show you in, in more advanced training where you can use actual PHP inside some of these things, but that's for a bit further down the line. So it's share schema. So share schema, I'm logged in as Mike Martin, but you have to register 
and it, you, it doesn't take you anywhere as soon as you register on it it'll just take your email and some other bits so that your so that your schemas are registered to you so if i put in here plumber oh was that did that ask for yep schema title plumber manchester for example uh, but we don't want local schemas we want proper schemas with just the codes in the way we've done it and then schema description is plumber manchester and then i click submit what i will see in my catalog then is this is one that's already been approved by me today this is one that george one of my my developers has done just messing around and if you look inside your own websites you'll see these are already there and then this is the one I've just done. And you see it's got a little clock next to it there. So what that means is it's going into our system. It's getting sent into us to our central database. My development team will go through it all and check it to make sure there's nothing malicious in there. There's nothing linking back to anybody else's sites or anything dodgy like that. And once it's been checked out and, it, and, and it's proved that it will be handy and will help, help everybody, then what we're going to do is we're going to use that, that schema. It's going to go into the public catalog. So you can have a public catalog available inside of all of the Magic Page plugin sites. So when we've got people now that say, oh, shit, I don't know how to do this scheme. I don't know how to do that scheme. I don't know how to do the other scheme. Whatever it is you're struggling with, you don't know how to do it. You're finding it hard to, 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 to generate. Over the next few weeks slash months, as people start to use this, this catalog is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, me and Keith will obviously add to it anyway. But this is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And what you're going to have now is a library of schema that is designed to work on any website. So as soon as you go in and it's like, all right, I want a website schema, you can quickly import it, have a look, make sure there's nothing about anyone else's site on there, change the location stuff to the location shortcodes if it's not already done, and boom, you've got it, it's done. You don't need to go searching for it, you don't need to mess around. So this is gonna enable all of our users, and you can also export this code for use in, in your home pages and your about pages and stuff like that. OK, so I'm going to close that section now because I've gone through most of what that little bit does. And then we've got a preview button here, which enables you to preview the code. So if you wanted to copy the code out and put it into your home page or your about page and you just copy it from there, paste it in and you've done. You've got it. So it's very, very simple and easy to pull out the code. In addition to that, so, so you can use this as a schema builder. You've also got a visualizer. And what the visualizer does is enables you to view the code. So there's your additional types. So we've got locksmithing, we've got the location one. The other one it enables you to view it in, in like a tree format, okay? Which is the format that Google looks at it. Now, this is how Google sees it. It's like a filing cabinet. So it knows if somebody's going to make an offer, it knows that it needs to be, these are the types of offers that we're, we're offering. Uh, it knows, obviously, same as. You click on that, and it's going to show you that's the Master Locksmith Association, and that's the Master Locksmith Association's Facebook page, okay, and the Twitter page. This this scheme is available inside the library now, this exact scheme of four people, so you can go through how I've done this one and edit it for yourselves, and then if you will, share it once you've changed it into a plumber or roof or electrician type schema, change the keywords, it will really help everybody else, okay? So it's going to enable everybody not just the guys who, uh, who are like oh i'm a schema expert and i'll charge you a grand to do it on your pages for you guys we're all going to have access to use this as as, as a team now as, as as a group of like like a community and this is what i wanted when it when it first started getting built is i wanted something that made this easy for everybody because this is going to become one of the most important seo features um moving forward um unless google changes mine next week but it should um be one of the most important features now one of the things i didn't show you guys how to do is when you come down now to your city short code you click on the not that one this one here csv link so that's csv link csv titles which is with the a a a h ref or without list of links or list without links and then you've got this one schema builder Okay, and that's type equals array. And then what you do is you set the amount in here. So let's say you wanted 25 of them the closest areas to show it's going to give you this code. You select that code. And don't forget, you could also make this default only major cities. Yeah, I won't do it on this site because it's not right. But you could have that default only major cities. And then what it's going to do is it's only going to pull in the major cities inside of your schema for your areas served. Okay, right. Let me just now go and check the schema, make sure we've added it. Click save, click close, and click update. 
So now when we go over and view the page, the areas served using the code that we've just copied, but we've kept the 15 one from previously, now pulls in dynamically areas served for you, which is brilliant, especially if you're using this for um, smaller sites or if you're using it for national sites that only covers major cities, it'll show all the major cities on every single page of the website. Say you've got 25 or 30 major cities, or in the UK you can have about 100, I think it is, you, you can have all 100 major cities showing on every single page of the website as an area served, which is great because straight away, the second Google hits any of your pages, it goes straight into the headline, the main headline, and the structured good data that it's looking at says to it, this is a national website. This is a business that covers all the areas, which you would assume, we don't know for definite, gives it more importance in Google's eyes because you're a national business as opposed to just a small little business that only covers five, six mile radius. Um, so, so this is really, really handy, and people should be using this inside of their schema um, when, when, when obviously building it. Um, I'm having a quick look now. I've shown you the code. I've, I've wrote a few things down. I've shown you how to share, save. I've got rid of the verbatim. I've done it in the wrong order that I was supposed to. Right, I've got a list here from my developers. So it says scraper, option A, scrape schema from any website or almost any web page. And option B is paste pre-built JSON LD schema in. So if we go back into the thing, what you can also do Where is it gone? It's down here. Open your schema builder. If you wanted to import some more schema, you can paste the code straight into here and import it. So schema you've got from anybody, anywhere. Import, click import, and then it'll go above the schema you've already got. And then you can start working on it in this format. So you've got a form there set out. And if you want to add additional nodes and additional sections to it, so there's like to add a node that will have See underneath the address bit here, or you can add a group node, which is a bigger one that pulls in a whole group, which is the same as the one above it here. So inside the address, so you've got multiple addresses, you could add another address in down here, and then you can add additional nodes. I'm not gonna go into much detail with that, we're gonna do more advanced training on this, but I'm just showing you. So you can build this inside here without knowing any code, without understanding schema, without messing about with all that crap, and straight away, as soon as you've done it, it applies to your page. What else has he told me? Right, no, we do not, oh, we don't scrape Asin, Asin, whoa, I can't read it. It's A-S-Y-N, chronosly <laughs> loaded schemas. I don't know what that means. Asin, chronosly schemas. Maybe someone else does. Uh, there is such a thing. He's actually put that in brackets in the notes and he's put, we scrape JSON LD and micro formats data. So we can pull in JSON LD schema and micro formats data only. It's not for that word type of schema. Can't let me paste it in here. This is the word, guys. So if you're all laughing at me because I can't read, if any of you can pronounce that properly, you're lying, you're pretending you can. <laughs> right, you can merge, overwrite, and join with current schemas if you already have the same type schema. So if you've got a locksmith schema and another locksmith schema and another locksmith schema, you can import them all. And rather than it overwriting, it will automatically merge the schemas together for you. So if you've got sections with the same, it will overwrite the bits that are the same and the bits that are missing it, I'll add them to it for you. Okay, so you can overwrite and stuff like that with your schemas. You can preview, preview JSON LC schema, which I shown you a minute ago in the preview. You can visualize the schema, which I shown you earlier. Earlier, You can minimize the schema if you're not working with it right now to focus on the thing. So yep, that's something I've just shown how to, right there. So if we're not working on that one, we can minimize it. And of, on these little sections, we can also minimize them as we go through. Um, so each section's minimized, so it's not all getting in your way and doing your editing and confusing the whole situation. And even little bits like the Audi things that are there, we can just minimize little sections of it. That, that's what he's talking about. Sorry, I've asked him to write all this down because I always forget to tell people stuff. Right, um, you can turn on auto collapse features for the groups, which will be in your settings somewhere, probably in your options here. Requires confirmation, auto collapse group notes, highlight notes, uh, mouse over, enable PHP functions. Enable PHP functions is for a different webinar than this. 
simply because that's going to be for very, very advanced users, people who understand code and how to code and stuff, because we're creating something where you can pull external sources into your schema, so you can have your own schema catalog in a third-party place and pull it in and loads of other crazy stuff, which we developers are, are working on. Um, you can delete confirmations to avoid accidental loss of schema. Use MPP shortcodes and spin text inside there. So inside of here, all your shortcodes work, as you can see. But also your spin text and stuff like that will also work in here. So if we was to put in, we wanted this to be auto locksmith and auto locksmith's location, that would now print different on different individual pages. Um, use WordPress functions as well. Right, this is, this is a bit that... Um, my developer was talking about so anyone who's a coder now or anyone who knows anything about code so i'm trying to see this and i've got this stupid box in the way off uh, i'll go to a webinar right you can use wordpress functions as well as regular php functions for pulling out dynamic data usage without a fuss just enables the feature from the options must be used wisely and use only functions you know what you're doing right so basically what that means is and, and we will do some examples of this, but you can actually use PHP functions um, and WordPress functions inside of your schema to pull out like your site titles and other various sections what, what are used inside, in, inside WordPress. Anybody who understands coding now or understands how to code WordPress will understand exactly what I'm talking about there. This is a, is a bit more of, of an advanced um, part and I'm gonna have to show an additional video to how to do this because I'm gonna have to sit down with my developers and learn myself before I start showing people. I'm not gonna pretend I know everything. I actually don't quite know this. I've never done coding with 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 WordPress or not not very much. So it is somewhat but that's gonna work as well. So it's gonna enable you to have when you create a website and you clone it, you're gonna be able to export it to third other sites and all the schema and everything throughout the whole site will be absolutely 100% perfect every single time because using those functions is gonna enable you to pull in the information from all over the place. And it sounds super complicated, but once you've got a list of all the functions and the stuff it does, it'd be very, very easy to do. Uh, templates, you can have your own private schema templates, which I've just shown you. You can browse schema templates, import and use preview, visualize, delete. And you can browse the schema catalog, user submissions, uh, browse, pre preview, visualize, and submit. And like I said before, we've got a central database where we're gonna enable, we're gonna check out your schemas, or my team's gonna check your schema, make sure they're decent, and as they are, they'll be popping up in there, and the schema catalog is gonna grow over a period of time. Eventually, we're gonna have certain areas where we can set it so that this goes under that certain tag, and so on and so forth. But there's not enough in there yet to do that. Um, and then he's put, yes, you can <laughs> submit schema to the catalog after approval. It will become available for all users. It requires registration. After submission, your schema will be in pending status. You will be able to view it even before it's approved. If you're logged in with your account and then schema catalog can be browsed, pages, searched and displayed by author. Okay, so I've read my notes, guys, just so that you can um, see that. Keith, I will pass this over to you now, buddy just so that you can run through more, any of the more advanced features that you've been, do, been doing. Uh, I'll mute my microphone, and then obviously when you're finished, like I said, guy, I'm gonna do a special offer just for people who's come on live, and then after that, we'll go to Q&A, and we'll have a, we'll have a chat and tip for, for, for 45 minutes to an hour or so. You all right jumping on, Keith? Yep, I'm fine. I've tried that um, scraping from the website, and it is just looping around and around, so. Right. Not sure what's uh, up with that one. <coughs> I will message the coder as soon as we finish on it. Everybody's got access to it now anyway. But yeah, that right. was like the bestest thing it did as well. So it's kind of pissed me off a little bit. But it is what it is. It will yeah. be fixed very, very soon. So how um, do I share my screen? Let me make you a person in charge. So I'm going to make you a presenter, and I'll miss okay. the first bit of your talk, buddy. I'm going to pause me. I'm going to miss the first bit of your talk because I'm going to be messaging my coding team straight away. All team right. Sorry, before. Then, yeah, so I'll speak to you shortly. All right. Show my screen. 
Oh, I can't see no bloody uh, questions, Mike. Can you let me know that everybody can see my screen? Because I can't see no questions. Can everybody see Keith's screen? You should be able to see under questions, not under not under chat. Can you not see that at all? No. No. Uh, under the questions tab. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's saying they can see it anyway. <coughs> I said no, but everyone else has said yeah. I've got a question. I've got a chat, but it's got nothing coming into it. No, not chat. It's called questions. Yeah, we've got questions wrong with nothing coming into it either. Ah, right. Okay. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Everybody can see what you're doing. <laughs> Everyone can see what you're doing, mate. You see, you cool, and they can see your screen. I can see your screen as well. I can see the little edit with Elementor tab in the middle. Cool. Okay, right. then. So. <coughs> you have to excuse this because I have got a bit of a cough, which I've had since bloody Barcelona. Um, but basically, like Mike said, the schema, you know, it does do the import. We have done the import. But one of the good things it uses is it uses the X fields. Now, you know, if you've seen my videos and stuff like that, you'll know that I love the X fields. Um, they're absolutely brilliant. And obviously using the X fields with locations make things even better. <coughs> Let's grab some water. Okay, so basically if we jump in, this is just one of my test sites. So stuff's all over the place. But I've got the advanced schema builder on. So if we click on to open it. As you can see, everything in here is an X field. Apart from that bit there, which again, just because I was testing, I just put some um, spin tax in on its own. And down here, you'll see, <coughs> I've actually got a spin tax description. Again, that's just to messing about, making sure that every combination of everything actually does work and it does so this site is basically um electrician site and it's based around the leads area <coughs> so if we have a look at the site itself that's the site itself near me leads okay take note of the phone number it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I now put in Headingly, I'll actually spell it right. Take a look at the phone number. <coughs> Yep, so phone number now changed. The reason that has changed is because I have a location set up there, which is heading one mile. Yep, and then under the phone number, under the X field, I've got location set heading That's what the phone number is going to be. I could have that at anything, and this can go for anything like your video ID, your schema city. So say you have, um, or the better one really, what I use it for, where's it gone? Your schema latitude and longitude. If I've got a GMB, that GMB has its own latitude and longitude. So I will use the actual latitude and longitude of the GMB. But I'll also use the correct Google Maps URL. <coughs> so if I had a Maps URL set up for, in fact, let's do it. So let's just have this. Just scroll down the bottom. Let's copy that. So there's Maps URL. So the Maps URL basically is the URL to your Google Map. So add a custom location and value. 
stick that in, Henley. Now, obviously, for this one, I'm just going to put that in. <coughs> okay, so remember, Henley has got google.co.uk as the map URL. And it's also got 7654321 as the phone number. I'll just change that to make it. Just do that. So we jump into the schema testing tool. So this is the lead one first. So we've got local business. So there's the maps URL there, has map. So that's your goo.gl maps. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And there's your telephone number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we do a new test, and do Henley, and do run test. Do there, has a map, google.co.uk. Now, obviously, that would be a map to, you know, if I had a Headley GMB, that would be the link to that. And there's the phone number. <coughs> Every one of them fields can actually be different. And the address, we've got Brown Close there. I forgot to look at what the other one was. But that one's Brown Close. We just try leads again and see what that way is. And that's some street Rothwell. So there you go. So all of them work. And that just makes life so much easier because you can have your know, These, you know, these bits here work really, really well for just your normal stuff. Yeah, on your face, you know, you put phone number on, you put a new site up, you know, in a different area, you change the phone number here, it could be 20, 30, 40, 50 times on your site, bang, done. But as Mike's just shown, you've got your schema saved. Yeah. You don't need to change anything, you change them all in one place and everything just changes for you. Uh, so you could even put the ID in if you wanted, you know, you there. Uh, as you can see, I've got everything in. And that's the way I do things with like sort of all my stuff. I put everything into X fields. Anything major goes into X fields. Because then I'm in full control. I bang a site up. And then I just go through, fill all this lot in. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, site's done, up, running, yeah, move on to the next one, which is why I can do a site in like a couple of hours. And that's it, really. That's like sort of one of the, the main things. Or like I said, the description, um, this is the spin tax descriptions here. So like there, I've got three different descriptions in. So as you're going through it, it will actually display the different descriptions as well. Well, so like each page, you know, you know, you've got like your headly uh, leads, your your Wakefield, blah blah blah. Each one of them will end up with a different description. And if these descriptions in here were spun, then even if they got a description, it would come up with a different description all the time. And I've got a spelling mistake. I'll just save that. And that's it, Mary. All the job done. Nice and short. Right, cool. You gone for everything? Yep. Sweet. Right, guys. <laughs> um, told you it wasn't going to be a massive one. Um, I have just... Let me just make myself a presenter. I don't know what page you're going to see of mine. 
I don't know if anybody's got any questions on that. Um, yeah, guys, right, let's fire any questions at us. I'm the only one who can see the questions, apparently. Uh, somebody asked if you'd expanded the questions folder. I'm assuming you did. Yep, I've expanded them, but I'm still not bloody showing. Boom. Right. Okay, we're not on questions and answers. I said I'd make an offer, actually. On sec. Can everyone see my presentation? <coughs> Right, I've set up a deal, which I'm going to share on here tonight, which is nothing that special, really. Let me just end that slideshow again, sorry. But if anybody wants to take advantage of it, then I am happy for them to do so. Uh, basically, if you're an existing user, now I'm going to put this in the chat, and people will have to let me know if you can see it. If you're an existing user, you can take advantage of this as well. And what you would have to do, Okay, it's not letting me do anything. Sorry, guys. Right, what you would have to do is cancel your existing. Basically, what the what the what the offer is going to do, or what the offer is going to enable you to do, is save fifty percent for the next six months. So, if you've got a ninety-seven dollar a month package with me, which is exactly what the product currently costs on on the internet now, to get in with Magic Page plugin and use it. Because you're on here live, just because you've took the last minute and you've all jumped on and said, you know what, I'm going to jump on and he's, I know I'm going to give you a couple of hours notice. Anyone who's on here live, I've put in an, uh, an offer in the chat, just if people can let me know they can see it. And that enables you to basically get the next six months for half price. If you're currently paying me $97 a month, which 99.9% .9 of people are, then this offer will save you half every single month for the next six months the thing you'd have to do is cancel your existing because unfortunately jv zoo is crap and you can't just reduce your thing <laughs> for being on so if you've renewed within the last seven days so from the 10th to now and you decide to take this 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 special offer that i'm doing for you i'll also re refund you 97 dollars but it has to be either the 10th 11th 12th 13th all the way through to the 16th 17th if you've renewed then that's just for getting on. That's my way of saying thanks. And obviously, if any new people want to jump on, there's an offer there for you. You can click on the link and have a look at it. It's 297 for the next six months, and you get all 19 countries full unlimited access to everything. And that's just as a way of saying thanks for getting on the webinar. Can't see the chat. Can't see the chat. <laughs> Whatever, put it in here. Tell me if you can see it in there, guys. I'll pop it on there. I've not done a, a big spiel for the, for, for the offer. It's just something I thought, you know what? Just because people got on, I thought I'd, 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 I'd share it. I don't know if... In fact, wait a second. No, it says it's going to all. Should have a chat tab there, guys. <laughs> Everybody's got the same <laughs> problem with me. <laughs> Paul's like, first one I've made live. Well, ba mate, basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get people onto the live webinars. I'll be totally honest with you guys. I want people on live webinars. The reason I want people on live webinars is because you can interact, you can get involved, you can ask me questions, and we can improve the product based on what you do. Keith is coming on a, a, a bit more, uh, not, not a full-time role, but he's going to be getting a lot more involved as, as of November. Um, I'm going to be spending a lot more time doing doing development and, and production and trying to trying to grow these products a lot more. I'll still be on the group all the time. I'll still answer as much as I can all the time. But realistically, I'll be getting on these webinars as often as I can. I'm hoping to try and get them Tuesdays and Thursdays. And this will be the main place that I can interact with all you guys. So I want people on the live webinars. So whenever I do get a live webinar, if there's something I can find where I think, you know what, that's a good, good bonus for being on live, then that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and... Um, whatever you call it, reward people <coughs> onto the live webinars. That's that's the one. Right, guys, I'm going to change the screen over now so you should be able to see the very last slide. Or should, you should be able to. Can you see questions and answers on there? Can, can now. Presentation's a mess, but it is what it is. Um, let's make it look nicer. I don't know. This is just messing around now. Anyway, guys, any questions? I will start reading. I've got about half an hour before I'm going to get myself killed if I'm out any longer than that. So I'll run through and answer as many questions as we can. Uh, 
Right, I'm going to whip through. You might be able to answer some of these, Keith. I'm not sure. Um, I'm just going to whip through and try and find any that have actually got question marks at the end of them. If you haven't got question marks, guys, I might get missed if you chuck it at the, back, back at the end. Have you looked at the Project Supremacy? All about schema. Um, I've not personally, Maureen, no, but I've heard a lot of good things about Project Supremacy. Um, I've used it, and it's, it's good, but it's bloody complex. I mean, I've tried to simplify it. I'm not saying we're competition for Project Supremacy because theirs works, I think, on absolutely everything. We've designed this yep. for our own tool. Um, Todd was one of the guys that was speaking at the last event we was at, and I've heard a lot of good things about his product. I haven't personally played around with it too much. I've seen it, but I've not played with it a lot, so I, I couldn't, I couldn't, um, I couldn't comment. Uh, but I do, I do hear it's a great tool. I've got Project Supremacy now. I've had it from the beginning, and it's a bloody excellent tool. Like I say, the schema, the builder, it's good, but this is the downside quicker. A building yeah. schema. If you could, if you could import websites, it'd be absolutely amazing. <laughs> but I've got yeah. to all the new developers. <coughs> I've, I've actually been really nice to him. It's one of them things. It happens. Um, right. Someone said, I think. All oh, right, that's cool. It's not. That's just a thingy question. Um, Sorry, guys, I'm digging through I Mike questions. Wondered if you knew how to use a schema on Weebly sites. I haven't got a clue, Dan, but if you wanted to use it on a Weebly site, you could build it inside of our system and then just copy and paste the code straight in. I'm assuming they've got a head code somewhere. Uh, and you're done. Sorry if I'm going quiet, guys. I'm actually reading through all the questions. Ah, this is why people have somebody that gets all the questions ready for the end, don't I? I've never, I've always wondered why somebody does that. Would you still need GMB with schema to build a national site? Uh, okay, Steve, that's a great question. The answer is you don't need a GMB full stop. Okay, now you, 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 the GMBs really, really help. They, they, they are one of the most recognised entities in Google's eyes. And having a GMB for your business means Google knows a heck of a lot more about your business without it ever visiting your website or doing anything. You have what's what's called an, um, I think it, I think it's pronounced M-Read, M-R-E-I-D, which is a machine readable ID for a Google GMB. Now putting that inside of your, um, inside of your schema connects everything together and can really, really help with your uh, ranking and SEO. I'm not going to go into, into great detail about it, so a GMB for any business is good, but it's not essential. Um, but another thing that I've said a lot of times about GMBs in the past is if you want to rank for single key keywords, right? So if you want to rank for the keyword locksmith on a national basis, you've got to put shitloads of work in, okay? If you want to rank for the word locksmith um, just in Manchester, you have to put in a hell of a lot of work. But if you want to rank for just the word locksmith, so, so where they're not using the location modifiers, a GMB is a very, very easy way to do that. And that type of ranking um, generates a lot of traffic. And because you can do it very, very quickly with a GMB, that if you can get your hands on GMBs and you can SEO and you can rank them, then they are a license to print money. They really are. Um, a lot of us are still in the website world and do a lot on the website. I mean, I don't use a huge amount of GMBs. I do have some. Um, a lot of my new projects, which I'm working on with Paul Daniel Stone, we have GMBs for every single website. And we do a lot of stuff like that and a lot of on-page and off-page SEO. Now, he's much, much better. There was somebody asking about um, structured rankings, stuff like that in, in, in the group today. I've had a chat with Paul. And now he's probably five times as good as me at off-page SEO. So the on-page side of things, I can run through and do that for everybody. But I believe Paul's going to put together a, pro a proper decent training course, um, which we will we will somehow release inside of the group or, or to the users, which I'm, I'm still speaking with him about it. It's a passing comment where we've had a conversation, but he's going to do an off-page SEO course. He ranks the stuff I can't rank for me, okay? So if I'm struggling... If I say I can't get this ranking, he will rank it for me. In addition to that, I'm currently working with somebody who's, who's a real high level SEO guy, or he is in my opinion, and I gave him a few weeks back a de-indexed website. It's not on Google, but Webmaster Tools, it's not on any of that shit. I don't touch any of that stuff. And I said to him, make that rank. Now, took him a couple of weeks and he's managed to get it undeindexed. And we've just noticed today that it's starting to crawl up the thing. So I will be doing a... I forgot what they call it, like a walkthrough thing of what he's done. 
in the next week or so. Now, the tool he do, he's, he's using to do it is about $97 a month. But if he can do what he's, he's, he's intending to do with this tool, it, it's almost a license to print money. As long as it continues to work long term, um, which I'll share that with you guys as well as soon as I know about it. I think to the no, it's not existing app. Time schema builder for MWB. Okay, Steve. The schema builder that we've just created is not going to be added inside of Mass Website Builder. You can copy and paste the code out of it. Uh, Mass Website Builder will get some sort of schema builder added to it on an ongoing basis. But the schema builder, as I've said a couple of times, is it was designed and created by my developer. It was his idea, it was his thing. I knew we needed something like that. It's a completely different development team. We have a development team that's working on it and they can, this, they can look at this, but it's not something where they're gonna be handed the code and said, put that inside of MWB. It's two completely separate teams, separate products. And we've already done the, the local business schema, which MPP never had at the beginning. Now we are gonna make build on that and, and work with it. And, and we have this to use for ideas but the exact same schema builder is not going to be cross-platform. It's going to be a different one that's going to be added inside of there. Okay, boom, boom. Uh, the only, someone's put, <laughs> Clint Butler's put for only 1997. You, you two can do this. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Clint. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, I don't think there's any lifetime licenses left on there, buddy. <laughs> uh, right. Um, our X feels just additional information that may change on different pages, like phone numbers. Okay, Paul. Basically, what an X field is, it's a it's a filing cabinet but it's a filing cabinet that works based on geolocation data. So what you do is you have a filing cabinet where you put your information in and it feeds it out to your website, okay, everywhere. But then you look at one section of the filing cabinet and you think, right, that section there is called Liverpool or that section there is called Miami and we can put a radius around it of 30 miles and you can add different information in different locations. So if you've got a, a map of the country, you can look at the country and say, okay, I want to feed that phone number out just in that location. And I want to feed this phone number out everywhere else. But I also want to feed a different phone number out in London within a five mile radius and Manchester within a five mile radius. And I want to feed this phone number out to the Birmingham guys and this one in, in Florida somewhere, for example. So what it is, is X fields is like a filing cabinet, but it, it, it's, it's controlled by the geolocation data as opposed to being controlled by, and it, files go into certain positions and certain places. So you've got, as soon as you put data in it, it's full, but then you can make little holes in it that are geolocated and then they will, it'll obviously, fit. I'm trying to make it sound simple, uh, but that's kind of what it is. It's basically the ability to serve up content based on location uh, dynamically. So you can have one website that covers the whole country, but you can have a client's data showing in a client's area and another client's data showing in another client's area and another client's data in another site, but it's all on one page and it's all on the same site kind of thing. If that makes sense, it probably doesn't <coughs> really make sense to me. One thing I use that for the most is videos. If I create a video for Leeds, a video for Wakefield, a video for Doncaster, a video for wherever, I use the X-Field so that when the leads page opens up it shows the leads video when the wakefield page opens up it shows the wakefield video and that's what it's exactly what you said they're basically there purely and simply as a geolocation thing and they're absolutely brilliant because you can do all sorts with them yeah no, another thing to use as well is the spin tech short codes now spin tech short codes is 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 in the bottom of the page and a lot of people and not that many people are using this to its full extent but what that enables you to do is you can create a thousand words of spun content on a page and you can have it all spun at a, um, a, a sentence and slash paragraph level sentence or paragraph level based on the information on the on the um, that you that you've put in. But you can add to the to the spin text on an ongoing basis so you can grow that 1000 words. Let's say you've got a paragraph there that's 200 words and, and then you've got four of them spun together. OK, 
you can then add a, a fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten paragraph over a period of time. So what you do is every time you buy new content, rather than going out and building brand spanking new sites and adding more content and doing your, you add to your spin tech short codes. And what that enables you to do is grow the actual bank of content inside of your site and makes every single site benefit from all of your new content on an ongoing basis. So they're really, really handy. And then you can, if you really want to get complicated, use your spin tech short codes and only put certain ones in certain locations. And it just gets really, really complicated from there. I'll have to do more videos on that stuff. I think I've done some in the past. I've not done one for a while because it really does confuse me. I can't believe I created it. <laughs> the team judges us, but I love you, putting really big capital letters. <laughs> Cheers, Tim, I love you too. <laughs> I hope he's talking to me and not you there, Keith. I just assumed it. <laughs> right. Um, right, someone's just put, right, blah, blah. right, if you take a special offer, but Valerie, if you're on a 97 a month deal at the minute, then you... If you if you if you if you paid it between the 10th and now, I'll refund the 97 if you take the 297 and you got it for six months then at half price. Alternatively, if it was before that, then you're just gonna have to take the 97 on the chin, but you're gonna save six months worth of subscriptions just for coming on this webinar tonight. And um you get it at half price for the next six months, which I think is cool. And I've got my development team fixing that blooming problem that we just got with the with the schema puller in or I think <laughs> I don't I don't know what it's called you know what I'm like for words guys I'm, I'm not a technical scrape man. <laughs> somebody's just put oh it's Clint and you feel smarter after listening to Mike's accent <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting fucking terrorized here um yeah I know mate I, I don't talk like I'm into intellectual I'm probably not I'm more of an ideas guy I've got some really good ideas coming up soon for this product as well. Can you read out the link? Can't see the link. Um, I can't read out the link, Jeff. If you're on my Facebook group, send me a message and I will send it. The reason I'm not reading out the link is I'm only giving it to people who are on here live. I don't want people, I don't want everybody who watches this thinking I can get on there because I'll leave it live for you guys. I've shared it in the chat and I'll leave it live, but they can't see it on the, on the thing. I'll put it back into the chat and repost it. Um, but if you, if you send me a message, I'll send you the link because I'll leave it live for 24 hours so you don't have to dive in right this second. But I don't want anybody who's not on the live webinar being able to get an, get their hands on it. So I can't just share it on the screen. I'm sorry. Um, but I can't, I will send it you through through the comments on chat on Facebook if you want to ask me for the link there. And I'll, I'll purposely leave it live 24 hours for you, mate. Because uh, I actually, I, I'm going to lose money on that. The current sales page shows Right, I've, I, um, Paul's put that about that offer as well. No, Paul, you need to click on the link that I've put in the chat, mate. There's a chat, little chat section here, and I've sent it to all. Should be a little chat tab, and you should all be able to see that. If you can't, you can message me on Facebook. I, I can see it's Paul Davies, so I'll know who you are on Facebook. <laughs> That's the only chat I can actually see. <laughs> Your link. <laughs> <laughs> right, I recently purchased it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Silverstone Limited's put the, 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 I recently purchased Mass Website Builder. Do I need Magic Page Plugin as well? Um, the both Mass Page Builders. Um, Magic Page Plugin is two years in front of Mass Website Builder. Mass Website Builder is HTML, and Magic Page Plugin is WordPress, and it, it's, it's it, you can do HTML exports and stuff with it. But realistically, it's completely up to um, it's completely up to you. It, it depends where you, where you want to take it. MPP is still in front of, of Mass Website Builder at the minute. We are working on that. The reason we created that is a lot of people was asking us, can you build a HTML Mass Page Builder with the same sort of functionality as Magic Page Plugin? It will end up having that sort of functionality a bit further down the line, but it's still in its infancy. It's not even gone to its public launch yet. We've we literally done lifetime accounts. I think we did about two or 300 lifetime accounts to our existing Magic Page plugin users, and we're not we're not looking to, to, to sell any further ones of them. We That's closed forever now, and anyone who got a lifetime will keep the lifetime. Like a lot of the guys who are on here have probably still got lifetime accounts from when I first launched uh, Magic Page plugin, and now the cheapest you can get it anywhere is $97 a month. Um, and it's and it's still growing and growing and growing. We've still got loads of stuff to come. So 
it's up to you. It's completely up to you. It really is. Gin and tonic, someone just mentioned. I've not had a gin and tonic for four months, mate. I had a drink in, in, uh, in Barcelona with the lads. I've not done it yeah, since. Yeah, you only had a few, didn't you, Martin? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Tony got mugged on the way home. He was helping yeah, me. Uh, I was so, so drunk, and, and somebody ripped his watch off his arm and ran off with it. And I, had, I wouldn't mind. I had a flipping four grand chain around my neck and a, 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 a thingy watch. Not an expensive watch, but they could have took any of that, and they just nicked Tony's watch and ran away. I was like, no way. So he was mad at me for the weekend. But it was a good weekend other than that. The uh, MWB schema builder, there is one in there. It does uh, your thingy business schema, local business schema at the minute. It is going to be improved. We, we, I mean, like I've said, it's not even gone to launch yet. It's already better than Magic Page was when we first launched Magic Page, but it's still got a little bit to go uh, to catch up. Well, quite a lot to go to catch up. But it will do. It'll get there. Anyone who's got my, um, MWB, um, it's it, we're working on it constantly. We're scared of doing any big upgrades at the minute before the public launch now, simply because we've got a public launch coming up and we've got hundreds of affiliates waiting to promote it. And as you can imagine, that type of thing, if if if, if the software stops working now and we've got hundreds of, hundreds of affiliates waiting to push it, then they're never going to sell anything for us ever again. And we'd, we've wasted... A, a a a section of their booking so so if you imagine affiliate has does a launch every two or four weeks we don't want to ruin that so there are loads of upgrades that are being worked on at the minute but they won't a lot of them won't be going live till after the public launch which is 26th of november by the way so if you get any big affiliates here that want to try and push it or promote it give me a message on facebook and i'll um i'll have a i'll have a chat with with tony to make sure that gets approved as soon as as soon as it opens up is this mpp still good for affiliate marketing like your example on the webinars um yes i do i do quite a bit of affiliate marketing and we have got quite a few um people who use it specifically for local based businesses so if you're trying to sell um a tv like where, where to get a cheap samsung tv in location and uh, where to buy the best bike in location and things like that like like site cycles um then you can use amazon affiliate stuff but Magic Page plugin is designed for local. So if you want to create something that will generate an income off local affiliate products, it's really, really good. And it's also a lot quicker to rank something local than it is to rank something on a national basis, unless you've got like a blog that you've had running for the last 15 years and it's got loads of power and as soon as you put something up, it just jumps. Um, but most people haven't got that. So the situation you're in is you can rank for uh, Cheap Mountain Bike Manchester within a couple of weeks and get ready for Christmas and get ready for all the Amazon stuff that's going live. Whereas if you wanted to rank for cheap mountain bike, it's probably going to take you three or four months to rank for that and a lot of work. Whereas you can rank for all of the locations that people are going to be searching to buy Christmas presents. You've still got a lot of people who are not as internet savvy as we are. So they do still search at the minute location, but as soon as they get onto an Amazon store and realize, oh yeah, it'll be here in the morning. Or it can be here within two hours because that's how I used to order my beer on a Friday night is a <laughs> finish work, get on Amazon, my beer will be there within a couple of hours. So you can still get that local search. And there, there's another one. Great place to get a beer, beer cheap <laughs> local. If you can get a website up that does that, I think it's, it's got two hour delivery, click here. It, it, it's an affiliate option. I don't even know if you can do affiliate options on, on um, Amazon for the beer. I've never tried. But in local search, it works. Tony, Tony Ramos, not seen you on one for a while, pal, unless I've just missed you. Can you show again to find the schema on other websites to scrape? Right, so basically, we haven't got a tool that finds the schema on other people's websites, Tony. And what I'll do is I'll share my... Oh, one sec, let me go in and try and share my... Right there. I have to change that screen first because the special offer screen is up. One sec. Oh, let me do it. Okay, okay, you guys should very shortly. No, it's showing PowerPoint again. Stupid frigging thing. 
What's that showing? That's showing the right thing, Keith. You're showing the schema builder, yep. Yeah. Right, cool. Okay then, so Tony, so basically what you do, now I don't know if my developers are ignoring me or not, so we'll try it again while we're on here. So what you do is, let me just delete that. I'm just moving the questions out of the way. So you click on the import button here. Okay, so it doesn't go out and find where the sites with schema are. Right? You, you've unfortunately got to find sites that have got schema, but you can sit in your website and you can scrape random sites. So I could go over here and type in Locksmith Manchester and grab one of the sites. Wait there, I'm looking for one I know has got schema. That one I know has. But you can go, you can go through the sites and you can pick up the URL and you come back over and I don't know if this is going to work now because at the minute the screen click scrape and what that will do is it'll go off it'll search the site page find the schema and it imports it into sections into your website right so he's obviously not fixed it yet because obviously I've been on his case going mad um, we might even have to push to 5.1 straight away because me and keep spent weeks testing this um, but then what will happen is that will pull in the schema that you've seen before or the schema from that website and then all you need to do is edit the schema inside the form and click save and it's on your website it's that simple so you just remove their information add your information and it just works so it's that it is that simple and it's going to be on every single one of these sites going forward okay eddie's put projects for some supremacy is really difficult um Eddie's, uh, Adrian's put PSV, not as good. What's that? Uh, the solutions are much better. One sec, guys. Sorry, I'm looking for questions here. Many lenders use GMB for providing credit for businesses. Don't know what that is. Right, do you suggest building national sites then major city sites as in your series of webinars about four or five months ago or purely the seven days? Right. Uh, the seven day success model that I did recently shows you exactly how to create a, um, what are they called? Uh, an evergreen style website, the best way. And what I've done is I've gone through most of my customers that have got um, between like 100 and some some have got like three, four, 500 websites. And what I've done is I've, I've contacted them and I've said, okay, let's have a conversation how are you building your sites what you find it works for you what's the best way to think it and each one of them uses almost identical model so what i've done is i've gone through the way most people are working and realized okay he does that different he does that different he does that different but the the, the fundamental factors that's why it didn't go too deep into all the detail of how to do this how to do that how to do the other what i did is i've taken like okay these people have got this number of h2s on this on the page and it worked out where about three was about the, the the happy medium, which which was getting the best results. Six H ones, H uh, threes, sorry, were getting like the best results. And there was different sections in different areas. So after speaking to quite a lot of people, I've realised that the, the, this is the best structure that's working for the most people, and it's actually quite a simple basic. And then all the other crazy little things that they were doing around it didn't make a huge amount of difference. Okay, it's off page that's going to make the difference outside of that that training course that I did. Um, so that's just just about the, the the seven day success model that I did with the PDF. Now, I I still like to build a national site that targets all the major cities first. Okay, so what I like to do is I'll then build something national or something that covers a full state because we're trying to move everything towards America in 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 um, waiting for full automation coming. Once full automation comes with Lead Simplify, um, we're all in the situation there where you can build a website, rank it. And once the phone starts ringing, you're going to start making money. It is that simple. It literally is going to enable you to send, build a website, put it at the top of Google, or build a GMB, put your phone number on it. And when a lead comes in, it's going to go out, find the lead buyers, ring the lead buyers, pass the leads out, get people sign up to your system. It's going to do all sorts of crazy stuff for you. It's really, really simple how it works, but really, really complicated at the same time. But it's full, we're calling it full automation because literally, if you can do paid ads, and you've got Lead Simplify. If, you, if you're good at paid ads and Lead Simplify, you can make a profitable business pretty much within a few weeks, really, really quickly. In any industry you want on the planet, I don't give a shit what industry it is. This is going to work as long as people answer the phone that can accept the leads that are coming in, or 
people that um that's, that's about it really that's all you need some, some businesses where people answer phones if you're trying to set up a business in something other than that so anyway going off the subject sorry um so yes with, with um so i always build a national site to, to go in major cities i never go to more than 200 pages ever with my first build of the site i can grow it over time if i want and then i'll build smaller location specific sites i shared one of my plumbing ones recently We've just built, um, not national, but we've just built a, a plumbing uh, network that covers 27 major cities. And what we've done is we've done a national one for, well, I say national, it, we've done one that just covers the major cities and nothing else, so it's, it's 27 pages. And then what we've done is we've then built in city sites for every city with like a five to 10 mile radius, as long as they've stayed between two and 400 pages. And then each of those smaller ones has got its own GMB. And then what we're using is the dynamic backlink builder further down the, the, the chingy to, to build loads of backlinks to all of the internal pages. And that's how we're starting the growth on this. Um, but it, it, yeah, I mean, that, that, that model has always worked. That model has always been a similar model to what I've used for the last five years. And it's, it's never failed. It, the, the, the time it fails is when people get lazy. Um, a lot of people want to be able to to do this game because they think it's mass page they think i can sit on my ass and not do anything but just because it's mass page it's the same as building a three-page website you still have to do the work you still have to build the sites make the sites right get the content decent do all the other stuff whereas a lot of people just want to throw up a load of pages and think it's just going to rank like magic because it's called magic page but it, it still it still involves work it's still the same as any business you've still got to get off your ass and put some effort into it um but that model just works it really does work um and it has done for the last five or so years and i can't see it slowing down we're we're getting more calls than ever i'm actually getting to the point where i'm going to step away from the locksmithing business and give it to my brother completely because i'm so busy with all the other stuff we're doing especially now full automation's coming live um anyway different story right i've got the structure now next Right, somebody's just put, I've got the price structure now, 297 for the next six months. Is that just for one site? No, that's for unlimited websites, as many installs as you want, all 19 country databases. Absolutely, every, everything that we cover, you will get included for that 297. And then after six months, once this is making you um, a, a decent profit, it will then go to $97 a month. So anybody who's come on here tonight is literally getting six, six months at half price. It's that simple, just just for coming on here. Right, um, saw a schema video just did last night. I did do a schema video last night. Yep, I missed the beginning of that one. You imported the auto electric schema into a plumber schema saying that it's, yeah, it was the demo video. I imported auto electrician schema into a plumbing site, which was on a locksmith web <laughs> URL. You know what, Mike, it's, 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 um, and replaced the plumber keywords or <laughs> being avoiding it you don't need to study it that much man look for sites that are ranking that have got decent schema on them and just click the import button and import it to your site and then just change their details for yours use spin text in there as well because you're doing it on a mass scale and it'll it'll work schema's not actually that complicated and the good thing is 99 percent of people are still not doing it uh, and it's becoming more and more and more needed like i was saying at the beginning of the webinar it's like having headlines all across all across the internet and Google looks for the headlines it likes most and then it's going to look and start doing some more research into them sites. But if Google can look at your website and know who you are, what you do, where you're based and all the other crazy things you want to tell it about your business instantly before it ever even sees the page because it's inside of the head tags, then it gives you a much, much better start and it's going to spend... It's got, it doesn't need to spend the time on your site, so it's just going to give it the boost for that anyway. I mean, it goes without saying, they're trying to reduce crawl budget. If you do what they want, you're going to win, especially in that situation anyway with Schema. So is it better not to be indexed? Uh, nope, definitely not, mate. You, you want indexing. I don't force index anything. I just leave it a certain weight. Some people get into this game and they're paying $97 a month for software like this and they want to get a site indexed and start making money as fast as possible. I used to be in that situation. There's a lot of people that are in that situation. I do understand that you need to get things up and going as fast as you possibly can. And it's unfortunately, it's a shame because it's better to, I find it better to let it sit and let it go as on, on its own. I've built sites 
that have not got great content and uh, that, that, that look terrible and I've built them and just left them alone, not touched anything, never built any bat links to them, never done now. I've built them and let them go, built them and let them go. And three, six months down the line, the ranking in the first uh, on the first page of Google all over the place, absolutely everywhere. But people, a lot of people don't have the luxury to do that and they have to start with the SEO. Well, it's all about consistency. It's like anything in life. If, 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 if you start to build links to a site and you go in and you think, I'm going to put 500 links this month, 500 links this month, and then the next month and the next month and the next month, you don't do any because you think, oh, it's starting to rank now. Or you start sending a load of traffic to your website to get it up to the first page of Google. And then you don't do anything. Or you send loads of social and then you don't do anything. It can tell that what you're trying to do. So it just drops your site. It doesn't stay there long enough. If you're going to build links and things to a site and if you're going to send traffic to a site and you're going to make sure you can continue to do it and you've got some consistency with it. So if you, if you build 10, 10 links to a website this month, do the same next month, do the same the month after. As it starts to get more traffic, increase the amount of links that you're sending to that website over a period of time so that it actually all grows organically in like a, like a, like a hill type effect, like a pyramid or something. I don't know. I'm moving my hands and everything here while I'm telling you. And, and, it, and that way it'll work better on long term. But what a lot of people do is you go and buy SEO of someone who throws all the links and they bring your site up really fast because most companies want to say, well, I want my site up there now. Well, for the long haul, that's detrimental to your website. So what you're better off doing is is just taking it slow and gradual and, and just, just building something that you can consistently keep up with. Diary it once every couple of weeks to, to put a couple of links on it or to do a few posts or to share it. A few and, and then what will happen is you'll find that it will stay there long term. If you look at a lot of these sites that have been up at the top and they've been there a very, very, very long time, most of them, don't have millions of links unless they're in it in or, or, or millions of, of of other off-page SEO factors kicking into them because the people have done it the way it's supposed to be done because they've not actually gone after SEO. They've built a real business which has got a real footprint online, which has real people connected to it and real GMBs and stuff like that. Um, people that have got Wikipedia pages and you know where they're mentioned in the wiki data and all that, that type of stuff really does help. If they're connected to your site at the back end via your schema and stuff like that so that's getting a bit more advanced into seo and stuff like that but it, it, it's it's not difficult it's just consistency is this unlimited sites and pages i mean for example i have a site can i build multiple magic rights um somebody's asking can they build multiple magic magic page has been created so that you can only add one magic page per wordpress install OK, and the reason I did it that way is and we're still doing tests now. We, we're constantly testing this. What we found is if you've got five or ten mass mass pages, they don't rank as well long term. And what we also found is if you put all of the content onto one page and target all of the keywords, it gets and or you split it into five pages and then you and then you're doing it as a mass as well. What happens is those five pages get a similar amount of content as, of, of traffic as the one page does. So the one page outranks them all because it's got more traffic, because it's longer content, more people stay on it longer, so it outranks them all. And because it's getting more traffic and it's got more people on the page longer, it tends to stay there longer as well, ranks better long term. So we've never added the ability to put an additional magic page onto a single WordPress install. But if you do want to do it, and it is something you, you, you're insistent that you must do, you have forward slash and then put a WP install onto a subfolder. But it's something that we've never pushed towards doing it. It's something that we've always been requested. It's something that I almost caved in about a year ago. But when I looked at the testing that my team are doing, I, I, I said, but there's no point. It's only going to cause people's sites to turn in, in more into spam than anything else. And it's going to drop everything out. So so we haven't done it. And we haven't got it on the, on the list of stuff that we're going to be looking to do. Ah. Uh, Right. Yeah. Again, someone's put, can you build a magic page per service category? It's the same situation. Um, you, if, if you've got, I mean, mass website builder, you can do this. Um, we we kind of caved in on, on that one, but it's not something I do. I only have one keyword times location and I go for the main keywords. So if you, if I'm going after the plumbing industry, I'll go after plumber location and then that's what will be what I, I target throughout the page. And then all the other long tail like boiler repair and toilet leak and all the shite. No, no real plumber 
does a full page based on 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 unblocking a toilet. It just doesn't make any sense. He he, he puts it into a couple of paragraphs in his existing content as as a service that he offers, or it's, most of them put it in a bullet pointed list. So you're going to win by having two paragraphs of content. But when you start sectioning up these pages, and then there's 500 pages on your website all about unblocking a toilet, or all about doing uh, this type of specific repair on a boiler, or this type, it, it doesn't look real. It just becomes spam. And because your website's not getting the traffic that it should be getting for having thousands and thousands of pages, your site just drops. So yeah, it's not it's not something we're looking at, that guys. Um, I, I've gone through this lots of times over the years. Long content, include everything. Write the content the way that it's written on all the other sites that you see out there that are ranking where real plumbers are writing these pages. Now, if you want additional service pages, have an additional service page for each individual service on the site as an individual page. Don't make them all mass sites, okay? And then incorporate absolutely everything into your magic page. So that's your longest content. It keeps people on the site the longest and it'll they'll rank better long term that way. How long have I got? I've got about five minutes and my missus might bust in here and say, come on, we're going for tea. Um, and you're confused. <laughs> Someone's got that nice one. Yeah, sorry, guy. Um, right, what's the difference between using spin text short code and pasting spin text into the page? Isn't it just neater? It is just neater, yes, but spin text short codes also enables. Let me, get, let me go on the page. You can still see my page, can't you? Right, let me close this down. Right, basically, if you've probably heard a lot about block spinning recently as well. A lot of people keep talking about it. Um, it's something that this has done for a long time. Right, spin text short codes here, yeah? So, for example, create one, and it's called paragraph oh, one, yep. And then add new, add new. Right, so, for example, you had all your spin text in here, yeah? So, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you've got a load of crappy... Uh, Spin, spun content in there or good content or whatever you want and you add that to the website so it looks a lot neater but then three months later you think ah the site's not getting the traffic you should be we need to improve the content well if you've just put uh, spun content on the whole page you kind of screwed there's nothing you can really do to make it any better but with this you can come in and then add another one here and then you can add more in down here up here even and then you can add more in up here now this could all be two three four five thousand pages uh, words of content and it'll all spin together. So then what it's going to do, it's going to block spin this, 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 and this. So one time it'll show this, next time it'll show this, next, and then it's going to spin the content that's inside it. Um, so so what, the reason we use this is it's not just to neaten up the site or to make it work better, but what it also does, it enables you to progressively grow your content inside of your website. So if you've got a headline, say, say this was a headline, and you had 50 awesome headlines that you wanted to use, you could spin all your headlines together by having them all perfectly perfect English. So you've got perfect English headline, one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth, all the way down. Um, and it'll spin them, share them all out amongst themselves comfortably, I mean, easily, and they're not inside the thing. But then say you wanted a load more headlines, you can add a load more, or if you wanted to then start spinning your headlines, I use Spin Rewriter, spin your headlines and you've got all different headlines so that you read perfectly every single time and it's 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 just a lot more manageable it's a lot easier to, to continue to use it so that that's why spin text short codes are great plus you can put them inside your x field in in here and then when you create a location set which goes in there which you create down here location set and that will enable you to then show specific content in specific locations throughout the page which it is, is, is really, really good. We've also got an overlay builder somewhere as well. And what you can do with the overlay builder, you can put in a URL, pull out the overlay code, paste the overlay code in here, and show somebody else's website in Liverpool within a five mile radius or Miami within a 20 mile radius and show your content everywhere else. So you can actually sell your website to 50 different businesses up and down the country if you want, all based on overlays. So they receive the traffic that comes through your website because of the overlay. And yet you've only got one website. And the second they stop paying, you go there and you click delete. And then that's it. They're like, oh, shit, we've stopped getting the traffic. What's happened? You can sell it as SEO. They don't know. They see their website popping up absolutely everywhere. They think they're great. They sack you. You delete that. And it's like, shit, it's all stopped. And then they come back to you a few days later and like, please. And it's like double price. 
or go away, I'll sell it to one of your competition. <laughs> I'm being horrible there, but it, it, it's realistic. It is kind of what you can use it for. There's, there's, there's some of the guys, some some of my customers who have followed what I've told them to do and have gone through what I'm doing, who are a lot more organized than me and, and, and uh, are earning more money using my tools and my methods than I am. Okay, it's kind of embarrassing to say it. Now, they don't necessarily know my methods better than I do or any of that stuff, but they are earning more than I am doing it because they, they've, 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 they've listened and they've implemented it and they're action takers and they're working on it every single day. And obviously, they're not building softwares and doing all the other stuff, but they're actually generating more business every single month than I am from my own my own methods. So it, it, what, if you just implement it, it works. Take the deal definitely will do we just cancel and do the deal and that update quick yes if you if you've took the deal and you canceled the 97 dollar a month product uh, package that you've done with me already uh, just let me know via facebook messenger send me a message with your old api key you know your old transaction id and what i'll do over the next day or so is i'll go in and i'll unlock all your existing websites because they're locked to your first api key that you put them on and i'll unlock that for you and then you can just carry on using your next one for the next six months which it's cool, right? So after six months, we'll yeah, ninety-seven dollars a month after six months, it'll go back up to normal. It's just a present for coming on here, guys. Um, now I've got a link. Okay, might just question about number of sites licensed for, and does it include the Batlink system? Batlink Dynamic Batlink Builder is included inside of Magic Page plugin completely free of charge. We was going to create it as a different tool, and we've just put them together. Um, so yes, you've got that, and it's unlimited websites, Abs as many as million sites. If you want to put a million sites on there, great. But uh, what I would recommend doing is is get that PDF off the group. It is somewhere in there. I never shared it purposely because I only gave it to the people that came on live. Um, but if you get that PDF and you just build the the on page structure to to what I've said, and then follow the other little bits, you will you'll do well with the sites. But it's all about quality of the, the the spun content as well, stuff like that. It seems to make more of it. If I build one site, I can put crap content on it. But if I build a mass page site and I put crap content on it, it doesn't seem to work as well. It seems to dilute itself for some reason. So if you put really good quality content that reads well and spins well, they tend to rank better. I'm trying to get through all these guys. My missus hasn't yet come in and attacked me, so... Right, Mike, I only joined four or five weeks ago. I need to change, pay 297 and 97 a month thereafter. You can, yeah, you can take advantage of this. Just Alan, if you've only joined four or five weeks ago, mate, just cancel your current current subscription and take the 297, mate, and I'll I'll do any uh, update any sites for you so that they, they transfers over. Um <laughs> Where can we find that seven day success model? The PDF, the video is on YouTube. The PDF is somewhere in the group. On it, guys, shared it in the group. The PDF. Um, I am doing a training course for that, and the people who are on that website, that webinar live, are going to receive that via email as soon as it's finished. Schema through the URL. Can we add on site and save, and then add another URL and a different schema and combine? Yes, you can. Did anyone, everyone, hear that question? Can we add? on the site and save. So can we add the schema on the site and save and then add another URL with a different schema and combine the two. If you've got the same at, I not the at ID, the, 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 what's it called again, sorry. Let me open it. My head works faster than, than my head, than my mouth. So I never know where I'm up to. Right, so let me just import this a second. At type. If you've got the same at type, then it'll it'll put them both together. If it's got a different at type, then it will it will actually amalgamate the two together for you. If it's got a different at type, then it will uh, it will just add it underneath, so you'll end up with a few different versions of your schema all along the bottom of here. Right there. Let me test this. Let's minimize. Ah, there we go. See that one I've just pulled in? Places. 
So you've got your places, your locksmith one there, your places one there. Um, is there any more saved in there? I think I've got a. No, that. Oh, it says plumber that way. I think it'll be the same at type, so that should. Don't know what that's going to do. No, that's replaced that top one. But that's because it's got the same at ID. It's got the same at type, so it's locksmith, so it'll have just overwritten it. But it, what it does is it over overwrites, and if there's anything on the previous one that's missing off the one you're importing, it won't delete it. It'll keep it all there for you, so you manually delete it, so you can so you can mix pieces <coughs> together very, very easy, very, very quick. Um. Yeah, Dan, there will be a replay, mate. Can you give an example for at type? Google does not know my inputs. At type there, locksmith, plumber. Um, th there's loads of them. There's loads of at types, but they're, they're, uh, I think that one will be the places. At type there is place. Uh, you can have re re review, but I think they're all gone them now, the reviews and the ratings and stuff. We did something with a local business to try and trick it. I don't know if it's worked. I'll have to check. Need to transcribe the last five minutes and what you're now talking about. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. Right, I'm getting near to the bottom of these questions now, guys, and I really do have to jump off. I'm already a few minutes late, and if I don't go out for, for lunch with a family, she's going to kill me. Uh, is this part of MPP or, yes, Magic Page plugin? Scott, it's inside Magic Page plugin, mate. Um, do you put sites into Google Analytics? Uh, I, I avoid Google at all costs, me, but I've got thousands of websites. I, I, I avoid it. I know a lot of people that actually do put them all, put all their sites in. Um, all my sites go into Google Analytics and Search Console, and I never have a problem. There you go. I don't, but he does. Um, so I haven't got any data to say whether or not it's a bad thing or not. Uh, have you looked at SEO Autopilot? I've had a look at it, um, and and Money Robots, the other one in it, they're very similar. I've, I've not used SEO Autopilot, so I can't comment on it. I have used Money Robot. I have seen people using um seo autopilot and been there well it's been getting done on certain things but i've never monitored any results so i don't i don't really know the software well enough maury to to comment what schemes do you recommend on an mpp videos right what schema do you recommend on an mpp local business place video um depends matt um what what type of business you're doing it for um if you look at a lot of these guys really, really know what they're doing, and you go over and you have a look at their websites, um, what you'll find is a lot of the top SEO guys, they don't have as much schema on the pages as you think they would. Um, they, they, they'll have a website schema, or they'll have some some little bits, and what they do is they, they tend to space it out throughout the, the site as to what type of schema they add into what type of locations, so it's more accurate. Um, but as, as far as, yeah, just throwing all different types of schema on there, I don't think it's necessarily a good idea to add it. Um, but I've not on seen my it. Sites, it's bad. On my site, I've got the the video schema. And on my keithbest.com site, there's actually a video on there which tells you how to put it on. Because the video schema helps your videos to get onto page one. There we go. I've seen you show me some of that actually, ain't you? It's really good yeah. what it does. Dan's just put, is this above and beyond Magic Page plugin that I purchased some time ago? Dan, if you was one of the very first people two and a half plus years ago, <coughs> got in on a lifetime license with Magic Page plugin, which some people did, um, you, mate, all the upgrades are still free. Everything's still included with what you've got. Most of the lifetime licenses were USA only. But it's all there, mate. It's all yours still, and the, all these upgrades are included, completely free of charge, forever for you. We'll never, uh, we'll never, we'll never charge you another penny. Okay, guys, that looks like. Oh, one more there. Okay, so video and plumber is fine. I, I don't, I've not used the video schema. You, you do a lot of that, don't you, Keith? Plumber, yeah, plumber's yeah, cool, man. Video schema, like I say, go into my website, keithbest.com, and look for video schema. And you will see a video there with Jim gives you the code on what to put in. There we go. And then you can copy and paste that code in. Guys, as we start, to, this is one thing I will ask people, right? We've only got like 40 odd people left on the webinar. What I will ask people to do, though, is please, when you get a decent schema, I know a lot of people don't like sharing, like, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. 
share it to the to the thing. So when when you when you're going into your template, here, <laughs> click on schema catalog, and and share it with everybody. Let's build a really good, really accurate, decent set of schema for everybody to use for all the different types of businesses, for all the different types of places, and all the different IDs and all the different stuff because. There isn't one. There's nowhere out there that, 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 that simplified this whole process. And the main reason that this schema, this, the, the schema builder has been built the way it's been built, it's not just so that it's simple and it's easy to use, but it's so that a community can actually all contribute by sharing and build something that you can't get anywhere else because everybody just wants to keep their own shit in a little box and not share it with everyone. And 95% and, and of the internet are not using any schema. So if we can get a really big, good, accurate set of, of, of decent schemas throughout for all of our websites. Now, we don't just have to use these on mass page sites. These can be used on any sites. It doesn't matter. You can use them on any site. You pull them out, you change the, or you open it, and you change the location short codes to whatever it is for, you, for your business. And then you just copy the code and paste it into your site head code, and you've got it. But you will we'll all have access to, to, to much, much better schema than most people out there. And there's people out there now charging hundreds, and, and in some cases I've seen up as much as $1,500 for one page of schema on a website, which I think is a piss take myself, but it is what it is. Um, if we can if we can build a great database here of all the different types of schemas and all the stuff, when schema starts to get more and more and more popular, six, 12 months down the line, when everybody realizes we need this or we're not gonna be ranking no more, um, we're going to all have access to it and it's going to be a click of fingers for us. You can charge people to put schema on the website if that's what you want to do because it's all going to be inside this database. Everyone can go out and do it, sell it on Fiverr, whatever, but let's all contribute. Let's all help one another because we're, we're all in the same boat and everyone just hiding it. We, the, the internet is so big. We're never going to step on each other's toes and everyone's like, oh, I'm not telling people my, my industry and I'm not sharing this. And I've stopped sharing my money sites because people, some assholes, I've decided that they're going to start trying to bring me sites down and stuff like that. But realistically, the internet is so big, we're never all going to step on each other's toes because there's 10 spaces on the first page of Google. So even if you're all in the same industry in the same location, there's still going to be loads of work for everybody. So let's share. That's all I'm saying. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got in a bit of starting to get emotional and all. I'll start crying in a minute. <laughs> right, seven day success model is on the group. The PDF's on the group. One it guys saved it. Bye, Mike Keith. Thanks, Matt Tarrance. Just put this is included in which Colin Litchfield. This is included in which lifetime license. Say that again, please. Uh, Colin, sorry if, if you missed it, pal. We did a lifetime license two and a half years ago for MPP, and a few people were lucky enough to, uh, to, to, to get it. It's not something we do anymore. Um, we might do a Black Friday deal, but I'm not sure what it is or what it's going to be. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it won't be a lifetime deal, though. I'm pretty sure it won't be as good as the deal tonight. You just got half price for six months. Um, but, um, yeah, that's what it was. Right, guys, I'm going to thank you very, very much, all of you, for being on here. Um, really appreciate everyone showing up. I know it's a last-minute webinar. Um, you guys are awesome, and I will end the webinar. Any problems at all, speak to me or Keith on the group. And thank you all for showing up. Cheers, guys. See you all later.